Across the Indian Ocean, some 600 miles east of Africa, lies the tropical island of Madagascar. Roughly the size of Spain and rich in fauna and lush vegetation, agriculture is its main industry and a source of income for its 22 million population. Many work at farms harvesting one of the world's most important sweet flavorings, used in over 18,000 products from cakes and ice cream to bourbon, air fresheners and perfumes. Vanilla In fact, Madagascar is the world's largest vanilla producer, and in its Sava region some 7,000 farmers produce high-quality crops for Simrise, the global leader in vanilla provision. But although Madagascar is rich in nature, it is poor in infrastructure. Villages lack sanitary facilities and clean water. Power cuts are common. Roadways are often impassable. The fragile educational system is subject to constant cuts. There are just three hospital beds to every 10,000 people. Vanilla is also the second most expensive spice to produce, and while global vanilla demand puts pressure on natural resources, market changes can often squeeze sale prices and farmers' income. To address these issues and improve life and prospects for Madagascan farming communities, Simrise identified the need for an integrated sustainability approach for farming and has introduced a series of progressive initiatives in healthcare, education and crop diversification. Diverse crops means farmers don't just have to rely on vanilla sales and can generate a year-round income. And Simrise projects include cultivating the tropical grass vetiver its oil is used by perfumers in leading men's fragrances and its roots combat soil erosion. The company also provides farmers with rice during low-income months and they have recently provided thousands of clove and cocoa plants to further enhance their commercial offer. The Madagascan school system suffers from lack of funding. Books are rare. Teachers aren't always paid. In partnership with FRAM, Simrise has helped build 35 primary schools and hired 68 teachers, supporting 12,241 students. Their goal is to increase school attendance and decrease the dropout rate. Simrise recently financed an educational premium for vanilla farmers' families to fill the funding gaps. They are also participating in an international program designed specifically to help students in rural communities increase their chances of finding a well-paid job. Healthcare is expensive and conditions like diarrhea and malnutrition are commonplace in Madagascar. Working with NGO Positive Planet, Simrise has initiated a health insurance program allowing farmers and their families to pay only 20% of doctors' fees with free operations, births and hospital stays. 2,500 people are already signed up and Simrise plans to integrate as many farmers as possible into the plan. These are just some of the ways that Simrise is helping the farming communities of Madagascar and their model for vanilla production is proving to be one of the most successful and far-reaching sustainability projects in the industry. More than 30,000 people are already seeing the benefits of health insurance, improved educational and training measures, all while learning how they can protect Madagascar's precious environment. The company also reinvests 10% of its yields from vanilla operations into education, reforestation and the sustainable cultivation of agricultural raw materials. Why? Simrise understands the value of investing in a long-term partnership with Madagascan farmers and sharing a vision that will inspire the next generation. Because as they grow and prosper, so do we all.